to activate angels or the angelic ministry over your life. You can activate the ministry of angels over your business, over your career, and over anything you do. Do you know why? Because angels are willing to participate in everything we are doing. And I tell you the truth, you will notice that you are going to stand out in whatsoever you do because you are going to be receiving the partnership of angelic support. And guess what? In this video, I'm going to show you from the scriptures on how to do it. Please kindly like this video because when you do so, you are helping this video to spread to a greater number of people on this platform. Thank you very much. The first thing I want to let you know is this. The ministry of angels is part of our inheritance in Christ Jesus. You need to understand this because with angelic assistance, your protection can be secured, your business can blossom, the operation and the dimensions of God's favor can be operational in your life. The simple key is that you must learn how to involve these angels in your activities. The fact you cannot see angels with your physical eyes does not mean they do not exist. Sometimes you are praying and you know, you are feeling goosebumps. Sometimes you are, you are in high frequency of prayers or worship and you are feeling intercessions. Sometimes you are watching my videos and you are feeling a part of your body vibrating. Maybe your leg or you are feeling heat at, on your lower back. It is trying to tell you that while you are praying or while you are watching my videos, you are interacting with the realm of the spirit. It is trying to tell you that angels are activated around your atmosphere. Sometimes you are praying, you just feel a touch on your shoulder or you just feel a wave around you. You look at your door, your door is locked. You look at your window, your window is locked. Where did the wave come from? This is the realm of the spirit participating with the physical realm. If you read 2 Kings chapter 6, you know some army, they came to arrest Elisha. And the servant of Elisha was afraid. If you read verse 17 to 20, Elisha was not afraid. The only thing Elisha did, Elisha prayed a prayer. He said, Lord, open the eyes of my servant. And as the servant's eyes opened, he saw angels surrounding them. The angels did not just appear. They were there before. But the reason why that man was afraid was because he, because he could not see them. So I'm trying to tell you now that you need to begin to have this confidence from today that God's angels are surrounding you. In Psalm 34 verse 7, the Bible says the angels of the Lord surrounds those that fear the Lord. We are the people that fear the Lord because we became righteous the day we received Jesus. Are we together now? Nothing should happen to you by mistake because there are angelic forces around you. I've heard many people say, oh... I don't need angels because we have the Holy Spirit. Can I shock you? The Holy Ghost works with angels. Listen, angels did not retire when the Holy Ghost came during Pentecost. You know, the Bible said in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 26, the Bible said the angel of the Lord came and spoke to Philip. This was after Pentecost. We saw the angelic ministry still, still active. In that same Acts, chapter 8, verse 29, the Bible says the Holy Spirit spoke to Philip. In verse 26, angels spoke. In verse 29, the Holy Spirit spoke. Are you seeing? The Holy Spirit can speak to a believer even through an angel. Of course, we are aware that the Holy Spirit is not lower than angels. The Holy Spirit is the boss. Are we together now? Gives the angels the instruction that the angel brings the message to you. There are things the Holy Spirit will need to do. He will do it through the angelic ministry. Are we together now? In the angelic, there is the messengers, and the angels that helps you journey in your intimacy with the Lord and the intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Now, there are some angels that are responsible for revelations and prophetic messages. But I want to speak about one today called the dimensions of the angelic host. Tell you the truth. One thing this video is going to do to you is going to give you a kind of consciousness about your protection in Christ. People may be dying. People may be going through plagues. And listen, you don't need to be afraid. All you need to do is to be conscious that God's angels are encamping you as the Lord encamps around Jerusalem. David went for a battle in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, 45. Then said David to the Philistines, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord of hosts. When I checked the meaning of host in my Hebrew Bible, it is sober. That is host. And when I checked the meaning of Sobao, I saw that it means angelic host. So David was trying to say, you come to me with spares, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of the host of angels. When the angelic hosts are activated, they are activated for protection. This is, these are the warfare dimensions of angels. 
So you are praying, you wake up at midnight, you are praying, Kabarago Sekete. You are saying, Lord, whatever. You maybe you wake up from a bad dream and you want to cancel it, or you want to recover all the enemy has stolen from you. The angels that are activated is the angelic host. They are responsible for warfare, they are responsible for protection. And guess what? The Bible said, This host of angels, they are surrounding the believers. In Psalm 34, verse 7, look at what the Bible says. It says, The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him. So it means the day you gave your life to Christ, you are entitled to the ministry of angels. Are we together now? So don't be afraid. I don't know what's scaring you. Don't be afraid. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22. He said, But you are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. So the day you gave your life to Christ, something has been given to you. Number one, you have changed location. You are now in Mount Zion. Number two, you are in the city of the living God. And guess what? You are entitled to innumerable company of angels. So it means you are walking on the streets. Angels are following you. You are, you are going for that job interview. Angels are following you. Now the question is, this, how do I activate them? You must learn. Number one way to activate them is through your declarations. One thing you must understand is that these angels are like military personnel. The military man listens to the command of the superior. So if a general in the army says, go, military men, they don't have a choice but to go. Are we together now? So listen, God is the overall general. I believe the rank of God is even more than the general. It's more than the field marshal. So God is the boss. Guess what? The angels are like the military men. So guess what? Wherever an angel sees the word of God, the angel responds. One of the things that activates the ministry of angels is declaring the word of God. In Psalm 103 verse 20, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. Are you seeing? Number one, he said, Bless you, Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength. Meaning, angels can be strengthened. Are we together? Now, how will your angels be strengthened to work for you? He says, What? They obey, they hearken to the voice of his word. What is the voice of his word? So, this is the key. When you give voice to the word of God, angels are activated. How do you give voice to the word of God? By taking scriptures and declaring. So when Satan brings fear to you, you take Satan to Psalm 91. He shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. You take Satan to Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon fashion formed against me shall prosper. And any tongue that rises up against me, I condemn it. Are you seeing, when you begin to release the word of God, you must understand it. Declaration. Now look at what Jesus said. That shocked me. They came to arrest Jesus. And Jesus made a very shocking statement. Matthew 26, verse 53. He said, Jesus said, Or do you think that I cannot pray to my Father and He will provide me with more than 12 legion of angels? Jesus said, He can just speak now. And 12 legion of angels will appear. 12 legion of angels. Listen, one legion of angels is 6,000. 6,000 times 12. How many angels? But Jesus said, He will not do that because He came to die. So it means that if Jesus has spoken, Listen, the difference between you and the manifestation of angelic beings is your declaration. The reason why many people, their declarations do not carry power is because the same mouth they used to declare is the same mouth they used to say, hey, they used to hold their head and begin to complain. Hey, this, hey, that. You must understand this. Your mouth, the Bible says, by your words, you are justified. And by your words, you are condemned. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11, the Bible said, if any man speak, let him speak as an oracle. They are angels. That are ready to say something. Say something. You are too quiet. When you wake up in the morning, declare. When you want to go to bed at night, declare. When you, when you in the afternoon, declare. Begin to release words. And as you release words, your angels are gliding on those, on those declarations. Don't join the set of people that are speaking down. Don't join them. Don't join them. Because angels are waiting for that command that will come, up, come out of your mouth. Take the Bible. Look for the promises of God. Begin to give voice to the word of God. Begin to give voice to the word of God. And as you speak, angels are responding. We're going to share part two. We're going to spend time speaking about activating the ministry of angels this season. And you know, the Lord told me, he said, teach, teach my people on how to activate the ministry of angels. And I tell you the truth, I know, and I know, my testimonies are will be better from these videos. I know that only God can produce those kind of testimonies. So believers, please tell us on the comment section what part actually stood out for you on this video. Please do not forget to like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to hit the notification bell because when you do so, you will always get notified whenever I drop a new video on this platform. Thank you very much. God bless you.